Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am Sean from Australia. I am a zero based budgeter and I give every dollar a purpose. My goals are to get a $10,000 emergency fund, get six months ahead of all of my expenses, following the Dave Ramsey seven steps to success, um, baby steps. Um, and I just want to build wealth and yeah, get some financial freedom. So today is a really, really exciting day because my husband got his yearly commission. I won't call it a bonus because he you know, had to earn it. <laughs> um, commission, so he's in a job where he has a good base salary, very similar, it's sort of very similar with mine, uh, but he gets a lot of chunk. He works within medical sales. He gets more commissions than I do. So I get like a monthly commission, he gets a quarterly commission, and this quarterly commission is one of the high ones of the year for him. So this is really, really exciting. During this video, we will be getting debt free. We are now debt free and transferring that chunk of money over into that credit card, which by the way was $7,250. I know that went up from what it was before, but it is paid off. It is credit card chopping time. So it is an amazing feeling. And I know this video is going to be a happy one, enjoying money and enjoying things like that. So, cause I want you guys to feel it as well. We are debt free now. This is amazing. We have finished baby step number two and we are actively working on baby step number three right now. And in this video with this binder, with our emergency fund, and with a few other categories as well. And this will be split up into a few parts as well. So subscribe, hit that bell notification. Um, and yeah, come see where I put this, this money. So you'll have to bear with me because I've kind of organized all the money into sets. So I'll count it all together in a way um, and add it up. But I've kind of already organized it into where it's going and things like that. So, and what video with what. So we need to count what we've got. So what I have done is I have spent two, $7,250 to just that credit card just says zero. I'll win. So now we will be adding this $1,500 virtual money, but that is real money that I have transferred across into the school fees account. This will be going into school fees because I actually realized I was behind one payment from late last year. So I do owe that. So $1,500 into school fees. Now, what else do I have? I have this money here. Now I'll count it as I go, but they're going to all go to different things. 50, So, 1,190. I'll just put that. Um, aside down here for the moment, just because that's in a separate pile. We have then, I think I'll put it here, sorry, just so you can see it. 51, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. That's another video. And we have one, two, three, four. That's for this video. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred. 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 245. So that is 1,000, oh, sorry, $11,890 to 
that we have received um, in commissions. $11,890. Now these I'll just put aside because they are for separate videos and I've got the older notes in there for a reason. I'll put that aside uh, and they'll be the next coming two videos after this. But in this video, we have paid $7,250 off our credit card. We are now debt free. Step two is done. We've got $1,500 into the school fees. So that one's here. Oh, it's going to be a bit warm, that binder from the candle. So school fees will be in our kids binder in here. And I will add that in. So in the school fees account, uh, well, I've had to pay that. So it's kind of not now, but anyway. Here we have 100, oh, sorry, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, sorry. Is that right? I think I've missed not putting one in. Anyway, this is actually correct. So this is what we have in the account right now for this first term. Um, sorry, for next term, which is due in March. So we have one, two, three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars in there. So that'll cover three months of school. And but they will go up, of course, every year. Um, it goes up, and then high school it's even more. But that's okay. All right. So, but by then we will have we will be doing really well because we're following the steps. <laughs> All right. So what else do we have to do? Okay. So what I'm going to do is it was hard sort of thinking sort of where this should go. Um, of course, debt, number one. But of course, setting ourselves up a bit as much as we can. But what I'm going to do is I've just done some random things in this video. So I'm going to go to things we can't always stuff, which is the... I don't know if you can guess where I'm going to, but this is our home binder. We are going to here. Now, dining table to me is very important because we don't use ours. I've said in other videos enough. It's sort of a six seater rectangle one, but I really want a nice 1200 diameter round one. So I want to put food in the middle of the table. We can all see each other. And yeah, I just want to make that more of like a homely sort of space. So what I will be adding to this one is one, two, three, four hundred. $500 I will be adding straight into dining table. So what does that actually give us? I actually have no idea. I just kind of worked it out with the money, but I didn't know what I had in there already. Okay, so dining table, we need $1,400 to get the one that I'd like. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, seven hundred. 750, 760, 770, 780, 790. So we have $790 in the dining table now. So that's giving it a good injection. 790 is 800, so about $610 more to go. And what this has taught me, one is patience to not actually buy anything until you save for it. And as you can see, I've been accumulating this for like for a little while. It's not like I've just gone, hey, let's just get a dining table out of all that, which I could do. Um, so yeah, so dining table. So I'm stuffing here. I think it was um, $1,395. This stuff is here. Um, plus of course the, the, um, credit card and all the rest of it. Okay. So we've got $500 we're putting into dining table. Where else have I decided to put the other bit of money? I am putting into... I think it's this one to the kids binder here. I will be putting into, see if you can guess. Not school, this one, season passes. As I've said before, um, we need to save $800 by April. That's a long way away. So what I will be putting into season passes is, what are we putting in there? $300, 51, 152, 20, 40, 60, 
So we have in season passes currently 51, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 370, 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, yeah, 70. 370. So we need not even kind of halfway for that, but that's okay because we have a few challenges to finish. Maybe I could use one of those for that. That's the beauty of them. Right, so season passes. So that is to, we've already got the Dream World and White Water passes for the year, but we also want to get the Movie World. You can Google this, you guys in US um, and everywhere else in the world in the UK. Um, Movie World, Wet and Wild, and Sea World. So Sea World's like a. Um, aquarium rides water a lot of sea animals and things like that then you've got movie world which is kind of like i guess universal studios and then you've got uh, wet and wild which is a water park so that's the stuff we do we go down to gold coast every twice a year and we get an apartment so we can cook our own way a lot of it and then we go there and we have the passes so it's sort of free and we take our own food and stuff so you know, we can have a good, you know, two weeks holiday a year in the sun in school holidays and an apartment and be able to actually keep holidaying without always needing budget for it. All right, what else do we got? We have in this binder. I can't remember where they all are. Oh, here, spending. I'm just going to add, because I only do do $5 a week in there, put $50 in for each of us. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, $95 in there. So $95 for his spending. We have, should be the same, 50, 70, 80, 95, because I haven't used any of that. So we have basically $100 each there in spending, which is awesome. So we have spending. Then I have... What binder do we need? I think it's self-care, uh, body and mind. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was coming for a while. Clothing. I need a little bit of a few um, cash injection into that. So clothing, we have 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, $280. So 280 in clothing, which really is just for kids' clothing. <laughs> All right, what else have I got? Clothing. We have, I think it's in this one. Buddy at the back. Pet boarding. So because we're going away in Easter for a week, um, $100 for pet boarding. So 50, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that will cover us three days now out of the seven. It's around $40 a day actually, so. Maybe maybe four four days out of seven that'll cover. So we should be able to get that up before we go. Um, then I'd like to put into specialist because I really would like to get this at and keep it at the five hundred dollar mark to cover maybe one to two appointments. Um, I will be putting in fifty dollars into specialist. So one, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 340. That feels a little bit better at 340 than at 290. So 340 in specialist. Um, braces, orthodontics. They is, that is getting a 50. So one, two, three, four, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six twenty, six thirty, six forty, six fifty, six hundred, six hundred and fifty, six hundred and sixty, six hundred and seventy, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six twenty, six thirty, six forty. 650, 570, 590, 610, 620, 630, 640. So 640 in there, it's getting closer to the thousand now. That really adds up. And then we will be going into our travel, which we really get to stuff now because we are focused on our goals. Our car and travel binder. Let me just check the filming, sorry. Imagine that. <laughs> This candle, by the way, it smells beautiful. Have a smell. Oh, I've got wax on my binder. Let's just move it away. All right, so car and travel. I don't know kind of where this is going, but it's going to go and travel somewhere. Oh, I forgot. I need to do a giveaway video. Uh, I'll wait till 1500. Come on, guys. Let's get to 1500. 
So we're going to do travel. Okay. This one is the one we do. We've only got 20 bucks in there. How much have we got left? 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 245. Let's put 200 dollars in this one. So it's 220. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 220. So it's 220 at the moment. Accommodations paid for. Fuel to go down there will be free. Groceries will have the $300 that we have for the groceries, which we'll be able to use down there to fill up the fridge there because we have an apartment. We'll have the theme park tickets. So we'll have like five theme parks to be able to go to if we want to over the week, plus beaches and plus the resort, I think has like six pools for kids and a water park as well. So I think we'll be set with that, which is pretty cool. It's a good resort. Um, but, you know, dinners out and all that, geez, that's probably like two dinners out if that. So, you know, that all adds up. So I've got $45 left. Where would I put that? I'm going to put that in weekend away. Because for me, it's things are about looking forward to something. I'm looking forward to savings and, and getting ahead of everything in life if we can. Uh, but having a goal for that. But also, once this trip is done, or even before it, I really want in maybe three months' time just to have a, one or two nights booked away as well or for a birthday or something or something. So that is this one that keeps plodding along. So we have 100, 20, 40, 65. 165 in there. So we can get maybe like $500 in that. That'll do like at least the accommodation maybe for a night or two or something like that, not in school holidays. So that is the travel stuff. So we have done the first part of our video. Now we have two other videos to add, which will be the second part of the video, uh, which will be stuff in the remainder of that 11, 000, over $11,500. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys are the best. And I really, really hope to see you in my next video. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a... I don't know. How do you think I sort of divvied it out? I've got a lot. Um, I've got two other videos to do, which will be one, emergency fund, two, getting ahead binder. So we will be doing this one as well. And that is a bit exciting news in there too. And some exciting news with the other one as well. So they will really be exciting videos coming up. So thank you so much for watching. Um, obviously, I'm happy, just happy to have that, that bonus income. I'm very appreciative of everything. I know how it can be when you don't have the income. I understand both sides of everything. And all I've learned is to live month by month, year by year, and do the best that you can with everything. Set yourselves up and just, even if it's a thousand dollar emergency fund, make that a priority to get for me, please. I know it's really, really hard, but even if it's just $5 a week, Let's just try and have an emergency fund because, geez, let's admit it, they all come up a lot more than we like to. And, yeah, let's just get it there so we don't have these nasty surprises and we don't feel deflated when we get put off, put push back with things. So I love watching all your videos. Take care. And thanks, guys, for sticking around. You're the best. Bye.